This video is a portion of the general video that gives a full overview of vectors in space. If you want to watch that video, a link is posted in the description. Unit vectors. Unit vectors are very powerful. We talked about how you make a unit vector, but I want to give you an example of how a unit vector can be used in practice. Here you've got these two ropes or cables connected to the dock and to the front deck of this boat. You, you know that the direction of the force in these ropes is going to be along the axis of the rope. And here they give you the force in each rope, but maybe you only know one of these forces. How can we write the force in this rope as a vector and the force in this rope as a vector? The origin of the coordinate system is here, but it could be anywhere. Well, what you do is you get unit vectors in each of these directions. So their magnitude is equal to one in that direction. And then you just multiply them by the magnitude of the force. So what you end up with is a, is a force of magnitude 200 pounds in this direction and a force of magnitude 150 pounds in this direction. Or if you don't know the magnitude of the force, then you just, you know its direction, but you don't know its magnitude. So it's like an unknown variable. So how do you do that? How do you find the unit vectors in these directions? Well, you create a vector of any length in that direction and then just divide by the magnitude of the vector. And, there, and now you have your unit vector. That original vector that you create can be any vector, absolutely any vector. But a lot of times what you'll use is a position vector. So a position vector that gives the relative orientation between C and A, divide that vector by its magnitude. And now you have a unit vector in that direction. Now for these two directions, the starting point is at the origin, but it doesn't have to be. You could have any vector anywhere. Just find a position vector in that direction, divide by its magnitude, and you've got a unit vector in that direction. So position vectors, we talked about position vectors earlier in the video. How exactly do you get a position vector? These are two position vectors. Remember, a position vector is a fixed vector which locates a point in space relative to another point. R1 is locating this point relative to the origin. R2 is locating two points away from the origin relative to each other. If you're in a Cartesian coordinate system, any position vector R in general is x2 minus x1 i hat plus y2 minus y1 j hat plus z2 minus z1 k hat. So if you're at the origin, x1, y1, and z1 are equal to zero. Okay, and so here, let's just do direction C, A. We're starting at the origin, so there's no x1, y1, and z1. R is, we go 50 feet in the positive x plus 10 feet in the positive y and then minus 30 in the z direction. All right, so what's the magnitude of this vector? Ten square root of 35. So the unit vector in direction CA We'll divide each of these by 10, as well as the square root of 35. So we get 10. So this vector has a magnitude of 1. If we took this squared plus this squared plus this squared, square root, we get 1. So now this vector FA, the vector FA, this vector FA is just 200 UCA. And so you'd multiply each of these components by 200. 